Now, good morning. This is Lisa Tierney. You are with me in my home. Let's continue with the small nuggets this morning. We have just be seen, uh, oh, I don't even know whether I'm here. Yes, I'm here. We have seen that we have looked at John 13. We have looked at John 12. We have seen uh, the story of Jesus and his betrayal. He walking up towards uh, Gethsemane and the cross. But we're in John 14. And this is so lovely. Do you need comfort? Well, I'm here to tell you that we have one who is the comforter that lives on the inside of us. And Jesus, who is the Messiah, comforts his disciples. Let's quickly read John 14. Do not let your heart be troubled, meaning be afraid. Be confident in God and trust in him. Have faith. This is the Amplified. Hold on to him. Rely on to him. Keep going. Believe also in me says Jesus for in my house in my father's house good morning there are many places many dwelling places and if it were not so I would not have told you we're in John 14 but because I am going there I'm going to prepare a place for you and if I go and prepare a place for you I will come back again this is Jesus speaking and I will take you to myself so that where I am you may also be we have a comforter and that is Jesus Christ and he was interested in the heart and the care of his disciples and if you go to John 15 26 Jesus speaks of the time when he leaves this earth and he goes back to the father as he's just said in John 14 John 15 26 says this but when the comforter is come, whom I will send. So Jesus sends the comforter. Who's the comforter? It's the Holy Spirit. I will send him from the Father, even the spirit of truth. Did you hear that? So he's a comforter, but he's also the spirit of truth that Jesus is sending. That proceeds from the Father and he shall testify of me. So Jesus is interested in his disciples' welfare and their emotions and their care this is who jesus is love in action john 14. so he says i go to prepare a place for you we are in verse 3 and i will come back again and i will take you for myself so where i am you may also be and to the place where i am going you will know the way and thomas one of the disciples said to him lord we do not know where we're going. So how can we know the way? And Jesus said, I am the only way to God. And in the Amplified, it says the real truth and the real life. And no one comes to the Father except by me. Did you hear that? Jesus has sent a comforter to us and no one can get to the Father except through Jesus and in the Greek the word comforter is paraclete and it actually means this it's a combination of power that is beside and along to come alongside and be, to be beside power and then kalitan is to call and you find that in in uh, John 14 16 so a quick nugget today do you need comfort you have Holy Spirit living in you we've just seen in John 14 he is comforting. Jesus is comforting his disciples because he's told them that he's now leaving them. He's going to be, he's being betrayed. He's going to be handed up to uh, people to put him on the cross. He will die. He will be buried and he'll be rose again on the third day. And he says, but, and we'll read it again. Do not let your heart be troubled. That means be afraid, be concerned, but believe there's the key. Believe confidently in God, in God and trust in him. Have faith, hold on to him, rely on him and believe in me also. So the Lord is asking you, if you need that comfort, all you need to do is believe in the Father and believe in the Son. For he has sent the comforter and the comforter lives inside you. We know that because we've just seen John 15, 26. But when the comforter comes, whom I shall send to you, from the father 
even the spirit of truth so you know you have comfort but also here's the spirit of truth do we need the spirit of truth yes we do we need the spirit of truth in the end times and we go back to john 14 right at the end and he says this jesus says i am the only way to god and to the real truth and to the real life and no one and that is no one comes to the father except by him so let me pray for you quick nugget today the comforter the paraclete the one who comes beside alongside the one who is to call you see it's a call the holy spirit was called to be with the brethren the holy spirit was called by the father through jesus who sent him to be with us good morning we're in john 14 looking at john 15 and where are we hebraically well at the moment we are in the season just coming up to passover and we know what happens in passover in the old testament it speaks of the angel of death the israelites were in their own places and they put the blood on the door and the angel of death passed over and not one of them was harmed and then in the new testament it speaks of jesus christ who told his disciples what was going to come he had the last supper with them we speak spoke about that we spoke about love in action we spoke about uh, washing of his feet washing of the disciples feet again love in action we spoke about him being anointed at bethany we spoke about him uh, identifying betrayers and yet he says this in john 14 do not be afraid do not be afraid believe in god and trust in him for in my father's house there are many dwelling places remember verse 6 i am the only way said jesus to god the real truth and we need the real truth jesus is spirit and he is truth and he sent the paraclete the one who is the comforter do you need comfort today let me pray for you Father, I thank you that the word paraclete is a Greek word that means to come alongside, to be beside. And it also means to call. And Father, we thank you that the Holy Spirit was called to dwell in us as the comfort. Thank you, Lord, that he is the way, the truth and the life, because he is from you and from the Father. And Lord, we thank you today, Father, we receive the comfort that only a comforter can give from you, Lord from you father so father i thank you that you comfort your people and lord that you lead your people into the truth all truth jesus you are the way the truth and the life so father i thank you that you bring truth into situations where there has been beguile you bring truth into situations where we need to see the truth this day father under the unction of my voice according to john 14 the walk up to gethsemane the walk up to the cross, the death, the burial, and the resurrection. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And I ask this, Lord Jesus, in your name, comfort your people and comfort those who are in Ukraine at this time, Father. This is my prayer, in Jesus' name. Okay, this is Lisa Tierney. God bless you. Our short nugget this morning. Um, I know you've been blessed. If this blessed you, please share it. This is the truth. The word of God is the truth. We need it. Be rooted and anchored in the truth and never forget the paraclete, the comforter, who is with you, who will love on you, who will comfort you when no one can, who will sit alongside you and stay beside you. And you, all you need to do is call upon him. Amen. He's there. God bless you. Bye for now. See you tomorrow. Share this.